So on today's video, I figured I'd show you how I got my wings for my 6.0 in case I want to turbo it later on. Now depending on your boost you want to run and all this, you need to do your research on uh, what gap you want to run on your motor. But I'm going to show you what I use on mine and you can take it or leave it, you know, do your research. Uh, take the advice I give and how I do it and just apply your wing gap to it. So first thing you want to do is match up your wings to each bore. Uh, I'm down to two pistons. I done got the rest of them done. So I'm just going to show you how I do it. Uh, if you're doing it all the pistons at one time, go ahead and uh, basically what I do is uh, do one bore at a time. Then I put my wings on the piston. My pistons are marked so I know which cylinder they go to. And that's how I keep up with mine. Uh, some people can uh, do the wings and uh, lay them out on a cardboard box and keep up with them like that. But uh, I just go ahead and gap one piston at a time to one cylinder and uh, just put the wings on the piston and uh, go on to another one. So I'm going to show you how to do this. First thing you want to do is basically check these guys. And uh, from everything I found out on the 6.0s, uh, probably the five trees and stuff you want at least a, a gap of 15 so let's go check these make sure he's is right on cylinder number two so this is piston number two we're good to go so you're going to need a set of filler gauges this is what i got and uh, i'm going to find the 15 out on this which is here it says 15 so we're good to go so this is piston number two, this is cylinder number two. When you gap your wings, always be sure to keep up with your wings to the cylinder that you gapped them to, because they could be different depending on each cylinder. So let's go ahead and just start a wing, mash it down with the piston, just like so. Check it. We're pretty well good on this. I checked these uh, so far. All seven of, well, all six of them has uh, been dead on the money. I ain't had to touch these. Most of the time you don't. So I'll stick this in down in there. Like I'm very trusting. Usually I would check these in three spots at a time. But uh, the Haston wings have been pretty well right on the money. That one is too. Since I done got all the piston done besides two, I went ahead and basically uh laid me a, a paper towel down so i can keep up with which wings go to which piston i'm just going to do them both on this video so you guys can get a good idea of how to do your own you probably get a better view on this side anyway let's go ahead and push it down with a piston now this is for number four and you need to keep this up these wings with number four you don't want to mix them up on different pistons so you just take your fill gauge Check the gap. That one dead on the money. 15. Check the other one. I mean, every one of them's been spot on. I ain't found one of them that needed any work. Usually you don't on the oil scraper wings. So, we find a gap. Take the fill gauge. Fits perfect. Now, I take you. And show you the next step which will be uh gapping your wings as you can see this is piston number four right here i do got it zip tied and marked i'm going to keep the wings to it over here now the top on these haskin wings 6.0 is not marked so you kind of can't mix them up they go on either way uh the second wing does got a dot you can see so you kind of can't mix up the second wing either so gonna be easy to keep up with so i'm going to start with the top wing and i've been gapping these at 24 i done about know about a seven that i have uh pretty well you know uh already gapped about what i need to take off so if you're doing this you want to test fit uh get an idea what you need take your time because you can't put material back on this so take your time grind off what you need a little at a time till you get the fitment you need so Basically, you just put it in here, mash up on it, hold in a little bit, and grind away. Now, you can mount this. Makes it a whole lot easier. 
but just take your time it'll work out now let's go see if we got 24 so you just go ahead and start your wing just like so if it's got a dot make sure the dots up and you want to check in about three places close to the top uh also you need to change this to 24 uh 22 23 24 like that that's what i'm gapping mine to and it's a little tight i'll tell you that right now just needs hit maybe just a little bit push this on down you can use oil when you do this i test fit mine dry don't make as good of a mess yeah it's a little tight so i'm gonna go in grind this in a little bit more then we we'll go on to the other one so this wing in case i haven't said it the one we got into 24 is my uh top wing the second wing gaps to 28 that's sort of been japanese so that fits very good go ahead and test fit again try to stop my piston straight Put shit on down in there. Take the fill gauge, find the gap in your wing, to you see if it fits. Fits pretty good. A little snug, but good enough. So we can pull this out, and then we do the other wing, which the gaps to 28. The second wing does got a dot on it for this one. Does a dot, and hit needs to go to 28. So go ahead and just. File this and down. Might take a couple test fits. But we eventually get it. As I said, you can mount this, guys. Makes it a whole lot easier on you. Another thing, if you mount that tool, it kind of gets the edges a little bit cleaner and straighter. So just smash this down a little. Get that level. Check with a 28 filler gauge. It's 28, 27, 28. That is. Let's check. A little bit tight. Feels pretty good to me. Ease it on down just a little bit more. Check it again. Fits pretty good. Push it on down the bore a little bit more. Check it one last time. It's a little snug, but good enough, guys. So it's got all the wings together. They all gapped. This goes to cylinder four. This is piston number four. I will be uh, installing the wings into a different video. Now, this is how I gap my wings. There are many ways you can gap your wings. I know some people will just use a hand file. Uh, it just depends on you. Always do your research if you're not comfortable with gapping your wings. And uh, all this, you're new to it. Always double check your research and always get somebody with the knowledge that's done this before to help you out if you can but that being said if i ever want to throw a boost at it i think uh that gap will be just fine let me know in the comment section if you think so too so haskin wings good quality so far very happy with them uh pop number i used now this is for the 6.0 liter ls so if you found this video helpful drop a like leave a comment and uh, show your support for my channel if you're new by smashing that subscribe button. I try to upload a new video almost daily, so check back. Thanks for watching.